Tom Harper, it's always a pleasure to come back and talk with you guys from Avidine, particularly when you've got a couple of new products to talk about. And one of them we're standing in front of right now, the IFD 550, latest in your IFD 5 model line. What are some of the new things that you've brought to this latest, uh, latest iteration? Well, it's really cool with the IFD 550 is we've integrated an attitude reference sensor in the box. So that allows us to detect full motion and pitch and roll. So now we can display synthetic vision in fully dynamic mode for pitch and roll on the GPS Navcom. It kind of opens up a new category. It certainly does. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow pilots to basically have more affordable entry into the synthetic vision market. That's exactly right. There's just a ton of airplanes out there that are never going to put big glass or any kind of investment like that to get the access to synthetic vision. Now, a guy that's wanting to upgrade to WAS can get not only a WAS GPS, they'll get touchscreen, they'll get all those cool features, ADS-B display, but now also synthetic vision as well. But this is also transferable. The technology is also available in some of your other IFD products. Well, that's right. Uh, even the products, the IFD line that don't have an ARS, an attitude sensor built in, can get an exocentric uh, synthetic vision display with our new release 10.2 software, which will be out shortly. So that's going to enable all of those functions, plus video, plus radar input as well. So a lot of cool things uh, coming down the pipe with the, with the IFD line. Uh, you keep mentioning exocentric. What does that mean? With synthetic vision, an exocentric view is an in-trail view, so you actually see the airplane flying over terrain with you kind of in-trail behind it versus an egocentric synthetic vision view, which the ARS allows us to do, it's the out the window view. So you need the attitude reference sensor because when you're trying to mimic out the window, you're gonna see the attitude pitch and roll. So it, it, you're allowed to show that with when you've got an attitude sensor. With the, ego, with the exocentric view, we can show that airplane just traveling across the ground. And so now you're gonna get not only the plan view of your map, but also that in trail view, which is really compelling. So Tom, take us through some of the features of the IFD 550. Well here you see the IFD 550 in a standard plan view mode, but if we go over to the map, we can also look at not only the plan view, but we can also look at the exocentric view. We've got full touchscreen capability, but with the synthetic vision button on the 550, we can activate the attitude reference sensor and get an out the window egocentric view of the synthetic vision. And now if you were rolling or pitching or rolling, in this case we've got a terrain alert, but it gives you a much more meaningful looking display of what's going on. And again, it gives aircraft owners access to synthetic vision who otherwise wouldn't have a place to put it. You've also have some of that same functionality on the 540. Right, for those products that don't have an integrated attitude reference sensor, here's the 440. We can still get the XO view on the boxes that don't have the attitude sensor. So. Basically, we're adding synthetic vision to all of our products. It comes with the release 10.2 software upgrade. Well, Tom Harper, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Great to see you again here at Sun and Fun. We hope you see you around the, maybe at Oshkosh. Sounds good. Thanks, Tom. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify, and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.